Hello my fellow admins and welcome to another episode of Scriptrunner Guides. Void.admin here and in this video I'll show you how you can hide the none option in a Jira custom field using Scriptrunner. So uh, let's start. So now I'm going to create a scenario where you have this uh, none option in a specific custom field in Jira and uh, how you can uh, hide it. And uh, I will start by going in my uh, current project. Here I have all the examples that I need for this specific uh, uh, video in order for you to understand everything. So uh, let's say that uh, you have multiple options where you can hide this none option in a custom field in Jira. But now uh, this specific method that I'm starting to explain right now, it's working only for a radio button custom field, which is of this type radio button. And as you can see here, I have this video uh, YouTube guide uh, custom field with uh, the options yes and no. But this non option is actually the null option for uh, like the null value for this custom field. If someone is creating this ticket without uh, with choosing none uh, as a value for you to guide, then this uh, custom field will not have uh, a value in the view screen of this uh, issue type and uh, for this ticket. So uh, you have like multiple options. You can remove this non option if you make if you are making the uh, this custom field in the field configuration as mandatory. So then you have the option yes or no, and you need to choose one of these options. Uh, if not, you cannot create a ticket, or you can uh, add a default value for this specific custom field. Uh, and let's say that uh, I'm choosing yes as a default value, then the non option like the null will disappear because you don't have. Uh, uh, it's a default value yes right so you don't have the non option here so but in this video I'll, i want just uh, to specify that you can do this using uh, uh, behavior in the script runner plugin uh, because uh, there is this let's say use case where you don't want to make this field mandatory and you actually don't want uh, people to have like a default value for a specific radio button so you can do that by injecting like a CSS uh, script in the description of that specific field, but you uh, will be using a behavior in order uh, for this uh, description script to run uh, only the time when you're accessing that custom field in a screen and it will not work for uh, like all the global projects or flight like, like for that specific field to be globally in order for you to, uh, I don't know, like if you want to use the description of that field in order to inject this uh, CSS. Uh, but I'll, going, I'll be going here in the, I'll just duplicate this uh, window and I'll be going in the behavior, uh, behavior section of uh, Jira. And here I already created this, but I just want to uh, go step by step for you to understand how you can create this behavior. So we have this uh, blue button here create behavior and in the uh, following window we have the name here let's say uh, we just name it as YouTube the description doesn't matter it's optional and we need a mapping so my project uh, was admin development and I uh, had this uh, custom field on issue type level uh, which is bug and I will create a map so the project I will choose admin development and the issue type was bug so we don't want this script to run for any other issue types besides bug, right? And now we click on add mapping. So the mapping was added for this specific project and this specific issue type. And now we hit the create button and the behavior is created, but we need to do some modifications for this uh, behavior and to add that specific script in order to hide this none option. So we will not be using the in initializer uh, console script will be using the server side script on that specific field that you want to uh, do this uh, modification. So we have this section here, add field, and we'll be searching for that specific field that we want to hide this non option. For me, it's YouTube guide. I created this field for this specific video. So here in this section, you don't mind with the uh, UI optional or read only. You just go directly in the create script section and you create the server side script and the console will appear. So we have here the, the console and in the console you need to uh, basically uh, paste and here in git uh, basically uh, you copy paste uh, the script from git. I just already push it to git and I'll add 
uh, all the necessary links to git and to these scripts below the video so you can basically just copy paste and don't uh, mind uh, the other i don't know write the script by your own hand or something like that like that so here i have a small comment here for you to understand step by step where you need to add this specific script and also what this script does so it has this small uh, comment here that this is hiding a non option for a radio button custom field for you to know that this will not work for any other custom fields so what i did here i just uh, defined the string for this specific custom field which is named youtube guide and here on line 10 i just got the field by name this is how i like to work and just get the fields by name so other people if they reading my code they can understand that this is this exact custom field that we are using in this uh, in this uh, like in a specific uh, uh, script that you don't use custom field by id which, because that's awful and sometimes it's, it's not uh, readable and here i uh, basically also uh, took the string the custom field id string by exactly so you need to uh, so the exact changes that you need to do for this custom for this script to work is to change uh, the custom field name by your custom field name and the custom field id from here by your custom field uh, id and the rest you need you don't need to change anything so uh, after i define it, so why i define it on nine uh, on line nine uh, the custom field id by string in order for me to use it here using this method because it's much more readable and you know from where it co uh, comes uh, uh, in this css script so here i uh, define the css script by string because this will be injected in the description of that specific field in the uh, in the screen so the last line is uh, running uh, the description that we defined it here in this uh, on this specific field which we define it by name so the next step is basically to save the changes using this blue button here and now after we save the changes we go back to the project admin development and we start by creating the same ticket so if we uh, click on this create button as you can see that a non option is not available anymore because we remove it so now if we don't add any uh, we if we don't click on yes or no for this youtube guide and we create the ticket then the ticket will be created without a value in this custom field so basically on the back end the non option is still selected because that's the default value for this specific field but using this method you don't uh, I don't know like you, you don't push the user in order to uh, for them to click specifically on this uh, custom field to have it like mandatory and you also don't have like the default value for this specific custom field you just have these two options if the user chooses to uh, click yes or no it's by their choice and you don't uh, uh, you don't make them uh, like make this mandatory for the user so uh, this was uh, the option for the radio button custom field to uh, remove this non option using script behavior if you want to do this for i don't uh, like for from my point of view this is like useless for other uh, custom field types but i created something for a single select custom field so i don't know like uh, if i'm thinking i uh, thinking logically uh if you don't want the non option here you just make this field mandatory right because this is uh from a user standpoint like it's much awful to see like three options which is non uh, non yes and no on the same layout but here you have like a drop down right so if the user is clicking no then okay this is none this is like null option here and you have this option yes or no but you can remove this non option from this drop down using the same method uh, uh, with uh, behavior script using Groovy but this time we'll inject a JavaScript not a CSS in the description of that custom field in order to remove the first option uh, which is like uh, on an integer level it's zero and we want to remove this uh, zero from uh, this specific custom field using the description of this custom field right so we'll use the same method 
but this time it will be a, a JavaScript uh, inserted instead of uh, CSS. So what we do now, we go back in this uh, uh, behavior that we created because it's on the same level of project and issue type, and we create another field, uh, another server-side script on that uh, on the other custom field, which is GitHub script. So we choose GitHub script here, we add uh, the field, and now we add the server-side script. So in this console, we will just just be copying the the script from uh, from my Git uh, repository. I'll just post a link below just for you, uh, for you uh, to copy paste and to be much more easy to uh, complete this uh, implementation. So as you can see here, I have like the same uh, uh, comment like explanation about this script, but this is for a single select custom field. Uh, and here I use the same method, I use the, the same naming, but here in this string uh, for hiding this none option, I use the JavaScript uh, uh, script uh, in order to remove the first option, which is like the none option, which is zero, right? So, uh, but this time you need to get the uh, element ID by the custom field ID and then just remove it, right? So this will be injected in the same uh, uh, description of the custom field, but it will work only on uh, the screen that you are in, right? So this is not gl a global change for all the projects. So again, we are setting the description to this hide none, which is this string. And now we save the changes, right? So if we go back and we just, just refresh it and we click create, now as you can see, we don't have the none option available in this dropdown and we have only yes and no option as, and again, we don't have this um, uh, custom field mandatory checked here in order uh, uh, not to have the non option. So you can have yes or no, but as you can see here, you don't have the option where none is selected because none is removed. So basically uh, the single select custom field is super different than the radio button field. So as you can see on the radio button field, we don't have an option selected. So actually, if you think logically, uh, instead of using this behavior for the single select custom field, you just go with uh, default value and it basically will be the same. Um, but uh, there you have the option to choose none. Here you don't have to choose the option to choose none. So it's it depends uh, on the uh, on the specific requirement that you have and. Maybe this will be helpful for you, but I wanted just to add another option for another custom field type, not only for the radio button ones. If you find this uh, information useful, I will gra gladly appreciate if you hit the subscribe button, just like vi the video if you like it. And uh, don't forget that I have other scripts in my Git repository if you, uh, you can check them out and uh, other videos on my YouTube channel. Yep, so that was it. I hope that you like it and uh, until next time, peace.